What's up, Michael here from Fitter Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add social media icons to Webflow, plus three rules they should follow, so that not only is it very easy to add these social media icons, if you want to ever like change the colors of them in the future, but also how you can optimize them for accessibility and for user, um, optimize them for user friendliness. So we are just gonna dive right in. So we are in this project right now. This is a template, a free template that we offer. There'll be a link in the description if you wanna clone it for free. But one of the most common places you see social media icons on a website is in the footer. So if we go down here, currently we don't have any social media icons. I mean, technically we do, because this is a template and they're here, but we just hit them for this video. So let's say in this bottom corner, we want to add some social media icons. Obviously, what you could do is go online, Google a picture of, let's say, uh, Facebook, download a logo, and then put the picture here. But what if you wanted to change the color? Well, you'd have to go find a photo with a different color, go into Photoshop and change it or whatever, and then re-upload the photo. So that would be kind of complicated and take way too long. So there are a few different ways you can do this. And the best way, or one of the best ways, if you go to the website Bootstrap Icons, just Google that and you will see this pop up. Click on that. This is full of thousands and thousands of icons. So let's use Facebook as an example. We will search in Facebook. And we will select this one right here. And you can see right here, you have the option to download an SVG, but we don't wanna download the SVG because then we have to upload it to Webflow and we still can't change the color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to copy HTML. So we just wanna click this, copy that, and here we're actually copying the SVG code. So we want to go back to our Webflow website, go down here in our footer, and then you want to drop in an element that is called an embed block. So just search for embed, it will be called code embed. Click on that, and then you simply want to paste in your code here. Now, it should already have a set width and height. That should already look good for your project, but I'll show you in a little bit how you can customize this. So we're gonna click save and close, and there is our social media icon. You can see now if we go to our typography settings in the designer, we can change the color of this social media icon by changing the font color. Now, like I said, the size might be good for what you need, but if you wanna make it bigger, all we have to do is double click into this code embed. For the width, we want to make it 100%. For the height, we want to make it 100%. Click save and close. And now we can control the width and height from Webflow. So we'll set the size to 32 pixels. And there we go. The size is a little bit bigger, but you can see if I go into the preview, and hover over this and click on it, nothing happens. It's because there isn't a link attached to this icon. So what we wanna do, exit out of our preview mode and we want to drop in a link block. Then once that is there, we simply have to drag in our icon into the link block. And now if we go into the navigator, you can see our icon is within a link block. So if we select the link block, Go to settings. Here is we, where we can set our URL. So I'm just gonna do facebook.com. And then if we go into our preview mode, hover over this, you can see my mouse changes. We can now click on it and go to Facebook. So now that that is out of the way, there are a few things to keep in mind. So one thing is for accessibility. So now that we added a link block, you will notice that uh, the Webflow audit panel, sometimes it breaks and it doesn't show you this, but it should be throwing you an error, non-descriptive link content. So this basically means there's a link there, but there's no description of the link. You don't usually get this error with text links because the text itself is describing the link. So what we wanna do for accessibility is we want to select our link block, go to custom attributes and type in aria-label. And then for the value, you just want to describe what this link is. So we'll just do Facebook link. And then there, that will take care of that issue. 
And the final thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our link is set to open in a new tab. So if you select your link block, go to the site or go to the element settings down at the URL, you can open in this tab or a new tab. It will be slightly better for user accessibility if you do a new tab because they can still be on your website, click on your social media icon. It will take them in a new tab to your social profile without taking them off of your website. So they'll still have your website in the other tab. Now, one last thing I wanna show you is I showed you how to grab these icons from Bootstrap icons. Now, Bootstrap icons has a lot of icons and they have most social media icons, but say you just wanted to use an icon that isn't on Bootstrap icons. Say you're working in a Figma file and you are using a custom uh, icon. So like a custom social media icon or whatever that is. I have a Figma file open right here. This is a Figma file that we just recently designed for a client. And if we scroll all the way down, we have these custom icons right here. So you can actually copy the SVG code from Figma. So what we want to do is select this icon, right click, and then do copy paste as SVG. Now there's a bit more customization we have to do to this code right off the bat, but we will select this and paste in our new SVG code. Right off the bat, you will see that this is, there's usually gonna be a lot more code here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our width, we're gonna put make our width and height 100% like we did on the Facebook icon. And there was um, an element to the other SVG code that I didn't show you, but it was really important. If we go back to our bootstrap icons, scroll over on this code. Where is that? Under fill, this is the icon color. You can see it's set to current color. This allows us to change the color in Webflow under the topography settings. If we were just to add a color here, like type in white, then no matter what we change the color to in Webflow, it would stay white because the code is telling it to stay white. So you can see here in this icon down here under fill, it has a custom color applied to it. We want to delete that and type in current color with a capital C, click save and close. And now we have our custom icon in here. So that is how to add social media icons and really icons in general in Webflow. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll try our best to get back with you.